guess I'm good. Let me say it's a team, yeah. Just like we have eaten this mango together, we'll be together forever. So how's my brother Igwe in waiting to You can say very great, very great, man. <laughs> you still remember the promise I made to you when we were still young? Promise. Yes. Well, you, you know we made a lot of promises, so I can't remember. Yeah. I'm talking about the taking about your first daughter with me to London to Finland. That one? Yes. Come on! The first daughter is here and she's all for you. Uh, I'm going to London. Oh, oh yes, my dear. Yes. Exactly, my princess. Ah, my dear. Oh dear. It's all this. Ross. Move to the table. They said the table is set. So let's go and see what is on the table. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. You don't have to say that. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Children, the young and the restless.
finished packing. Yes, ma'am. What are you writing? Something for me. That's all right. When you are true, let's go to the water traveling with. Okay, ma'am. Hmm? What are you writing in tears? Something for a mortgage. She is leaving tomorrow. Ah, uh -huh. I know you're missing. Something for you. I have something for you. Friendship is like the sun. This comes out and makes our day bright. Day by day, I'm going to miss my best friend. Friendship is like the moon, which lights up the night. The stars are something to pull around the moon, just like our friendship is just for the moon. I plan to do your first job and I'll be with you. I'll come back to you. I'm working. I'm working. I'm on with Karen. I'll be waiting for you. Talking with you when we get back. I don't know. She's not going to die. She will come back. You will see her again. Yeah. Hey, let's.
June 12, today my best friend Amoge lost her mom. I'm going to miss her. Lord Jesus, please protect her and let her come back to me. She's my friend. I know I met you. But you have to concentrate on your goals, okay? Your mother is seriously ill in some hospital in abroad. And hopefully she will come out of it, okay? But thanks to the NATO, I'm a good father who has been footing the bill. But maybe when he becomes the Igwe, he will let your friendship be known with Tambake. But for now, you must concentrate on your books. Understand, my dear. Your, your your father was involved in an accident. But, and you, you you may not see him again from now. Eh? But but we are here for you. Okay, we are here for you. Eh, we, we will take care of you until your mother returns from hospital abroad. Okay? Yes, my mommy. Typical of Amici's pilots. Hey, my name. My name. I'm good. I'm good. So, what's cooking? I mean, you always on realistic paintings everywhere. Why don't you just delve into surrealism or something? I see. There goes the art critic. <laughs> I know I'm not a fine artist, you know, but you see, too much mixing with you has taught me a lot of things about arts. Okay, so let me put you to the test. What is surrealism? I'm sure I'll beat you. You see, surrealism is a 20th century style and movement in art and literature in which images and events that are not connected are put together like in a dream, you know, to like explain what is deep in the mind. Deep in the mind. Yeah. <laughs> hey! I can see you've been studying hard. You've been learning from the advanced Oxford Dictionary, right? Excuse me. Now I love to win. I can see that. I can see that. So, uh, how was the trip? Oh. It was okay, it was cool. I mean, the government actually took very good care of us. That's for people like you, employees like you. You do nine to five, and you get taken care of by the government. Excuse you know? me. Unlike me, I decided to work for myself. Yeah. You know? So, what do you think? What do you think about the artwork? This cool, is perfect. I've been sitting here for like two hours trying to finish this. I'm feeling hungry now. Have you eaten? <laughs> ah! I'm famished to sleep. So let's go eat something. Better. Okay. Well, what are we going to do? I think there was something I should add, but Uncle Paul is fine like this. You always do that over starting your artworks. <laughs>
the best mama in the whole wide world. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> My best actress. Oh, I wish you. How was your day? It was good, it was good. Um, I mean, I, I'm very excited today because I think I've created a work um, that we, the artists, say is a masterpiece. So, what is a masterpiece? You the masterpiece. My only mama is the masterpiece. Because you've done everything for me. You've been there for me all this time. You're the masterpiece. Come here. Come here, my son. <laughs> Do you know that each time I look at you, I am so, so proud of you. Thank you. I'm very proud of you too, mama. That's my son. We've come a long way. Mm -hmm. And you've supported me in everything that I've done. Well, let me just freshen up. Okay, I'll just freshen up and I'll come back. You still haven't shown me how to sew. You've been sewing for Don't years. Worry. Maybe I'm going to become a tailor now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. What do we have in the house? Um, well, we actually need a lot. The seasonings and tomatoes and the rest. We need pepper, pepper, fish and onions. Mother, Mother, guess what we have here? Mother, guess what we have here? Just look at it, guess what we have there? It's a lie. An email from Amogi. You can say that again. Amogi is coming back in four days' time. Oh my goodness, that's great. So my daughter is finally coming back after so many years in abroad. Uh, uh, you know what? You forget about the domestic shopping for now. We have to prepare for Amogi's homecoming. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be landing in Lagos um, tomorrow then. She'll be sleeping over. She'll be coming back in maybe two days' time. His Highness will be so happy. To hear it in the from the State Council traditional last meeting. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see. My daughter is due back to her father's land in four days' time. Mm. This calls for celebration. Welcome, Father. My son, thank you very much. Uh, you? Your sister is coming in four days. Yeah, I got the email. I have a happy father now. Um, Ike, get into my room. You will see a brown envelope by the side of my bed. You bring it. It's a message for Igwedundu, which is fine. Okay. Yes. Eh, which, what do I offer you? Um, nothing, Your Honor. I'll be leaving soon. I have to join my father. I'll come back when your daughter returns. Oh, that's beautiful. Because I would like you to see her. How is it for me? Hey, that's right. I'll give it to you. Uh, tell your father. That those are the documents of the land we discussed. I have to take my leave now. Please do have a nice day. And you. Okay. All right. Can you send over to your highness? Get ready to prepare a good meal on the day my daughter shall be back. It's like you don't trust me anymore. I've started making arrangements for that already. That is my daughter. <laughs> My daughter is coming back.
Joy, I'm so happy. I remember the day she was leaving. How my son cried. Oh, sorry. What will we get for you? No, nothing. I made sure you'd be so happy to hear this news. These are the beeps I made for you. Oh, thank you, my friend. She's coming back. I'm thinking now. Who is coming back? Uncle Ifani. Uncle Ifani. Amogi. Your Amogi is coming back. <laughs> Mama, who told you? The mother. They are preparing seriously for her arrival tomorrow. <laughs> So how come she never told me? Why? Come to think of it, we haven't been communicating for like a month now. Is it not what you boys do? She wants to surprise you. <laughs> Mama, you know it's been a long time since you traveled. And I don't know, what would she be thinking? What would she be thinking? She's your childhood love. That's all she thinks about. Hmm? You know it's been a very long time. And we've been communicating, yes. But you know it's a different thing. Seeing face to face. Yeah, it's a different story. Be strong, my son. You know we've waited for this very hour for a long time. Make sure you seize the day. 
I still go, Mom. <laughs> I know you can't do it. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Man, what's up? Hey, Buka, my what's man! You, you know? Oh, what's going on? I have news for you. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Shoot, 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 I'm okay. Yeah? My I'm okay is coming back. Eh? Yeah? For real? Oh, yeah. oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so happy for you. I'm so, so happy. But my problem is, I. I don't know what to expect, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't know what she's going to be thinking, how she's going to feel. I just don't know what to expect, man. What else are you going to expect? Is you know what? I just see the two of you getting back together like an old time, you know? Trying to do everything, kind of the love you guys had for each other way back. You see, they, they, they say old love really goes cold, you know? So I just see the two of you getting back again. Hey, man, man, I'm so happy for you. I'm so, 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 so happy. Honestly, I'll find out tomorrow. Oh, you sure will find out. Hey, the love of your life is coming back again. Oh. No. So, Princess, where exactly are you studying? Manchester. Ooh, Manchester. That's beautiful. I, I hope you have not forgotten the fact that you are a princess of Africa. <laughs> At least you sell our custom and tradition to the white men. Nobody needs it there. No, it's a lie. They will have to care. with flying colors. I read and read and read to the point where I felt like, oh, you're losing it. Mm -hmm. And that was because I blatantly refused to let my family down. Mm -hmm. You did not disappoint us, my dear. You did not. Uh, by the way, how is my brother, your uncle? His father, he's in perfect shape. He actually traveled from London down to California. But okay. he's good. That's good. That's great. You're welcome, Princess. Well, thank you. Uh, Princess. Meet Buchi, the son of the Igwe of Ubulu people, Igwe Dundumwa, and his sister, uh, Princess Nkolika. It's nice to meet you, Buchi. Oh, pardon that manners. It's nice to meet you, Prince Buchi. I wanted to be physically present here to meet the Princess of Udumodo land, and I must confess, your beauty radiates joy and peace. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Uh, please, please. My princess needs some rest. Before any other thing. Thank you, Father. Thank you. 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 Thank 
you people will have to wait for dinner? I'm afraid we can't, Your Highness. We actually wanted to be here to see the arrival of the princess. And I think she needs some time to rest. And the family needs some privacy too. That's, that's well thought of you. Come on, family, go Okay, I'm going to take my leave now. Okay, my dear. All right. And I'll teach them our culture. All right. <laughs> Where is the movie? She went to see Amechi. With who? The driver. The driver. You mean she left without taking her first family meal together in a long time? She said she won't be staying long. I mean, she'll be here in a moment from now. Even after one month of not communicating. Events and times have separated us. Seas and forest have been in between us. But you've always been in my mind. I was another man's land. Not my father's land. But the thought of my father's land kept on lingering on my mind. Why? It's the place where my childhood love lives. <laughs> you are coming. I love you. I love you too. You haven't changed one bit. Still see. You don't know what I've been through. I've been through so much. And words can never explain it. But patience was a virtue that I developed because I knew today would come. I knew this day would come. And here I am. That I would be holding the love of my life again. And here I am. <laughs> I missed you. You really do look silly just like in your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. I just started an artwork. Look at it. Love never dies. That, that's you and that's supposed to be me. I just started it, so don't, don't, you know, I'm just trying to see if I can see. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna start. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Madame. Come on, but are you kept us waiting? Father, I am so sorry. Immediately after I freshened up, I had to quickly go and see a patient. And it's been long. Uh, let, let's, let's, let's go to the temple. Let's go. grown into a beautiful woman. Oh yeah, she has. She has. Because yeah. even when I saw her, I was I was mesmerized. When I saw her myself, I'm like... I met your mom. Yes, mama. Do you think it will work out between both of you? Yeah, it should. Mm. It will. I wish to see the both of you married. 
so that the friendship between her mother and I will be sealed forever. I know. It'll work out. It should work out. <laughs> it should work out. Mama. It has to work out too. <laughs> Mm. Most importantly, seriously, your place Leave the boys alone. I trust you. <laughs> I'll send you some visits. Uh, Alright, Pixies. Hey, you. No speaking. Take no. it easy. Hey, you. Hey. Hey. Put me out there. We're just talking about you. Yeah. Oh, you're going to school? Yeah. Good. Okay. I'll work. Right. You get there. Mixes later. Don't speak. Oh, that's why I like it. <laughs> Where are your parents? They were for a coronation ceremony at Akiti Village. Good. <laughs> Good. Tell me. How much do you miss me? You know I miss you. From all the emails and telephone conversations, you know I miss you. Tell me to my face. I want to hear it. How much did I miss you? I didn't. I didn't miss you. You didn't? Truthfully, I didn't. I was lost without you. You don't know how much I have been through since you left. You know, people miss people. But mine was, my world was at a standstill without you. you know, it's, it's like an extreme. It's like if there is a word for, you know, missing somebody beyond miss. I don't know what the word is, but it was an extreme. <laughs> You're so silly. I'm here now. I'm here for you. Yeah. Now what I want you to do for me is give me first-hand information Things that have been happening to you in the last years. We have to be quick before your parents come back. <laughs> okay, okay. Just like I said, the meals, my uncle was just an angel. Uncle Chica was absolutely great. Mm -hmm. He should have made you so like that. He was like an alpha. He was like a hero. He kind of stopped all my relationships. I didn't have any trust in him. He stopped all the guys from coming, and even when I almost fell into temptation. So you didn't like even one of the guys? Not even one. Not even one! Yeah! You thought of he just kept me on. Oh God! You know what? Not even one! I know you're lying. I always like taking some more drink before going to bed. Yes, I noticed that it makes your stomach soft. Yes, my dear. And apart from that, I am fond of Zobo drink because it is a homemade drink from our country's agricultural resources. Beautiful. <laughs> That's good. Your Highness. Yes. What do you think about our daughter? And the Ugo son of Ichi. The artist. You see, I, I, I still find it strange that from all the professional courses in the University of Ghana, that young man chose to be a fine art student. It beats my imagination. Your Highness, he's happy with what he's doing. He's happy with what he's doing, you said. But does that put food on top of his table? Does that? Since he graduated, he has never begged for food. That is not the point, Laura. The question is, can he take good care of our daughter? Can he? I can't understand you anymore. Listen, look at it this way. Can't you see that we are operating on a different level now? Our daughter is far too sophisticated for that gentleman. This young man we're seeing here is educated. Yeah, educated. An artist. Educated artist. See, my dear, this is reality check. Reality check. Can he sustain a more case status? 
We can't. It's left for our daughter to take this decision, not us. Look at Butchie, for instance. A handsome young man. MBA management. MSc in psychology. At 35, he's already a member of the board of FA Telecommunications. Can you be that? Come on. What are you trying to say? Oh, Lolo. You know where I'm going to. You know. Let's be serious. I really am. Who is there? Are you not so? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, tell them okay, that Pucci is still waiting, okay? Okay, you are. You sent for me. You're going for a date? Not really, mother. I'm just going to see Amechi. Amechi? Yes, mother. But Puchi is here waiting to see you. That's a shame. We didn't have any appointment, did we? I... I actually wanted to take you out. Thank you very much, but no thank you and not today. I told you, somebody extremely important is waiting for me and I have to meet him because I cannot keep him waiting. If you don't mind. Thank you very much. Father, I promise I'll be home really early. Mother? Oh, my love. Uh, which, uh, please, uh, don't worry, don't worry. She's still be clouded by uh, childhood memories. She will soon get over him when reality check comes, okay? What? Well, Your Highness, I... I will patient. Thank you, Father. Just like the fortune. Oh, yes, it's just like the virtual. to work at the Bay Oil Company in a fortnight. And after that what? I should be thinking of settling down. to see Amechi? Yes, Father. I see. It's about time we drew the line between both of you. I don't understand you. <sighs> I'm okay. I understand the emotional attachment that binds the both of you together, probably because of childhood memories. And that is why I have indulged you with him. But this is time for reality. Father, Father, you confuse me. Listen, my dear daughter. You and Amici are worlds apart now. Your status has changed. And you need someone who befits your new status. Father, you surprise me. 
Who would ever happen to friendship? Please, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Dear. Oh, Dad, please don't come into this. Whatever I have decided is final. What I really wanted to say is that these children have come a very long way. The two of them have come a long way. The two families have come a long way. Fine. For friendship, I don't have any problem with that. But for serious issue like marriage, no and no. I don't believe this. I just can't believe this. Father, after all this time, whatever happened to friendship? You even paid his fees while he was at the university. Oh, yes, my daughter. I did pay his fees. But he ended up an artist. An artist? An artist, Father, is that supposed to be the problem now? Very petty profession. A petty profession. Very wild. Father, you embarrass me when you talk like this because you are enlightened. My dear daughter, we are talking about reality here. And listen, you would never marry an artist. And that is final. Father, But I can find him. Father. Yes, my dear. I vowed never to go against your word. Nor mother's wishes. But I ask again. Have you thought of me? What I want? before you make this decision? Yes, my dear. The way we knew that traveling to London with Uncle Chika would elevate you academically. That's how I know that both of you are worlds apart now. Are you serious that you disown me for disobeying your words? Yes, I really am. I won't go against your word. But this hurts me so much. That's good, my dear. It's a wise decision to take. You have anybody in mind? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Would you, the, the, the prince of a... And you think he's the right person for me? Oh, yes, yes. You see, when, when you get to know him better, I like him. He's a good gentleman. I accept, Father. She took a wise decision. Honestly, honestly, I don't like this. Why? I just don't like this. Why? Why? Can't you say she agreed too easily? Oh no, not too easily. She agreed because she has promised herself not to go against her wishes. But still, your hey, 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 Please, don't put words into what she said. She meant every bit of the things that she said. So don't bother yourself, okay? So you want to know according to your father's wish? Yes. Just like that. Angie, there is something I learned in my strategic studies. And it's never to fight a battle when one knows you lose. Why should we fight when we know we don't stand a chance? Why? Okay, okay, so 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 you were saying all that we feel for each other doesn't matter to you. You don't care. My love, why should we go into a protracted battle with my father where he will lose his temper? Disown me. We'll elope. And then both family unity will be in shambles. We'll be threatened. Why should we put ourselves through all that stress? I can't, I can't believe you. You should hear yourself too. Eh? I can't believe you are saying this. It's like I don't even know you. Maybe you don't. Well, maybe I don't. This whole thing is strange. You know what weakens me? She 
just she just gave in with no fight. Hmm. No fight. After all these years, all the things that I've been dreaming about, it's like a total waste for you. Dreaming of us spending our lives together. I can't believe this. It's okay. I'm making one. Please don't break down. Oh. Please. Mama, mm. after you, she's the next best thing in my life. She's the next best thing. I've been dreaming about a reunion. It's okay. Everything is going to be alright. You will see. Listen, Ugo. Be careful how you address my Lolo. Your Highness, the social status come between true friendship? Well, not when the friend wants to cross the line of distance. Or at least doesn't accept the fact that the status change in life. Your Highness, you accepted us before you married Ada. Because she was my bosom friend. Don't because of... No, go on. Because of what? Go on. Highness, please. Please reconsider your stand on the relationship between your daughter and my son. Listen, woman. Your son squandered his chance of ever having a marital life with my daughter when he studied and started practicing fine and applied arts. I can't allow my daughter to live on hope. She is a princess, and she deserves a prince. Ada, you are my friend. What is your standing on this? Woman, you are going too far. I am the Igwe, and I decide what happens in my family. You don't come here to question me on issues concerning my family. You are a friend, and my friend remains my friend. Friendship that discriminates. It's not friendship at all. <laughs> but I and my son shall accept our fates. Because your status is now higher than ours. But who knows tomorrow? At least I agree that all fingers are not equal. But remember, Your Highness, they all work together to make the palm of the hand function well. What's the matter? 
Am I what's wrong? You won't understand. I'm just coming in from the Igwe's palace. In fact, today marks the end of our relationship with Anito's family. Period. What? That's impossible. We've been friends for so long. Um, what happened? How? What happened? Tell me. Igwe has made it clear that you don't have a future with the daughter. Impossible! We don't belong to the same class. After all these years that I've been waiting? No, just listen. Over my dead body, will you meet that girl again? How, Mama? How? Uh, How? My son. There are a thousand and one girls out there. It's not the same, Mama. If they can't respect our friendship based on status symbol, let's remain in our low class and have our dignity. Mama, what is, why can you say this? Why, why did you say this, I Mama? I told you. And stick to that. Period. Mama. is trying to throw a spanner in the wheel of our love. Are you kidding me? Are you serious about what you told me the other day? Can the body live without the flow of blood? No. Amogi cannot live without you. A million guns can't stop me. No. Listen, I'm coming to see you at the palace right now, okay? I'm coming to see you immediately. Please come, my love. Let's go out together. When you lost your dad as a little child and your mother was hospitalized abroad, who foot the bill? You did, Your Highness. God. Do you believe in the saying that one good tongue deserves another? Yes, yes. God. You will be doing me a good if you stopped harboring any idea of marrying my daughter. It would be an honor to know, Father, whoever told you you have the absolute right to decide who I marry. I'm okay. Are you talking to me? Father, the last time you called me, you complained vehemently about my relationship with Amichi. What did you say? You said you didn't like it. I agreed. As a good daughter, oh yes, I did agree, Father. But I agreed because I thought over the years or over time, you were going to change your mind. But it's so obvious, Father, that you are so adamant and you want me to do things exactly the way you want them to be done. Why, Father? Why? I don't like your tone, you okay? Be very careful. I went to the best schools, or should I say one of the best schools in the world? I went there to get my mind liberated, Father. I went there to learn how to make choices for myself. And I have chosen to stick by Amechi. That is because he is my friend, and I love him. Can you listen to yourself? Look at who is talking about love. What do you know about love? Everything. Everything. Love is trust. Love is understanding. Love is compassion. Love is patient. Love does not discriminate. Love is always there, good or bad. It stays there. And that is why I am going to stay by my friend. I love him, Father, and I can't move. I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to move half an inch. Here is where I belong, and here is where I will remain. Are you listening to your daughter? Not in this palace! 
Now listen, you young man. From now henceforth, I forbid you from stepping into this palace. Did you hear me? No, Father. We beg to be excused. Your Highness. Did you hear your daughter? Did you? Your Highness, calm down. Amit is your son. He still remains your son. Well, sometimes, you know. I wonder why at this age and time, parents would want to interfere in the marital affairs of their children. Why? Why would my parents want to pick somebody for me? Why? It's human nature. It repeats itself every time. It's human nature. Tell me, what will history remember us for? History will remember us as two childhood friends. I fell in love with each other. Played around here over these kids and vow to be with each other regardless. To make sure that what they believe in still goes on. I love my last to be No matter the obstacles. I vow that for as long as I have a heartbeat, you will be the mother of my kids. Yes. <laughs> we just like the semi strings connected by the brain, working through the path that leads to where. Mama, what are you doing to you? What is it, Abogin? What am I doing to you? I went to Amichi's house and his mother said that you sent dogs to harass her. What? Why, father? That's because he wants Amichi to leave me alone. That's why. Is that true? My husband. Don't mind her. She's talking nonsense. Father, I am your daughter. Can you for once put yourself in my shoes and understand what I want? I'm an adult, father. I know what I want. I know it. And I am your father. I know what is good for you and the family as a whole. Good enough reason why you have to send dogs to their house? Be careful, I'm okay. Don't question me. Mother, are you in support of this? Christ sakes, Mother, I am an African. I hold very dear to heart the culture that says that younger ones should listen to elders and respect them. I do. But Father, please put yourself in my shoe and understand what I want. Respect what I want for once. God. Why don't you let her make her own choice? Just allow her, Father. That is not sense. She thinks from the heart and not the head. Now listen. My decision in this matter is final. Is that okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. 
And where are you going? Talk to me. I will. You better talk sense into her. You better do. as we try to keep up with our friendship. But time often separates us. How, mother? How? Life is like a race. Piers and age may start it up together. Along the line, some we are left behind by others. And when this happens, reality sets in. For example, Amici had studied more lucrative and professional course in the university. It could have bridged the gap between the status of the two families. But instead, he chose a career Martin Luther King Jr. mother. So he dreams of a country that will just open up by the color of their skin. But by their content, what they have inside, mother. I preach again. In theory. But things doesn't go out that way. Mother of that country will have the first black president. Their culture and ours are world apart. Don't you forget that. These people value the family unity more than any other thing. And in that context, you should consider what our family wants too. Mother, I value friendship. Time, place, nor status will never take me from Amechi. Never! Have we lost our daughter to the foreign culture? Oh no, mother, you haven't. Your daughter is just more enlightened. Oh, have you decided to fight us? Mother, fighting for what is just is different from disrespecting one's family. Nothing on earth is going to take me away from Amechi. Nothing, mother.
sweetie. I can't sleep. I know. Me too. I, I, I can't sleep. But I'm in the studio. Even trying to work, I can't even concentrate. My love, I vow that a million guns cannot separate me from you. I want us to stand strong and tell them that through love conquers everything. you tomorrow, okay? All right? I'll be waiting. I'll get you tomorrow. We're going back tomorrow, eh? Just now that I found the school sheet I need to. Hello? I'm coming up now. I'm out. And where are you going? I'm in Chester, I'm me out. I'm okay. You are pushing me. Don't push me! I love you. But the son of the eagle of Ubuli equally cares for you. No. I'm out. I'm okay. I'm okay.
flown abroad. You were in coma for three days. This time you hit your head on the road and you had concussion. Amogi has traveled abroad. But is she fine? Is Amogi fine? I don't know. You know there's a cold war between us. But the most important thing is that you are alive and well. I need to know what happened to her. Just like the semi strings connected by the brain, working through the path that leads to where freedom lies. I can feel your head be thinking, I can feel your brain. the person you are looking for is not around. My mother told me that. She's been flown and brought after the accident. I just want to know if she's fine. That's why I came here. Amaka, is she okay? Don't bother yourself, young man. Amoga is no more. Are you satisfied? How? Huh? You killed her! You killed her! If you had listened to me to leave that girl alone, she won't have died. Dad! Shut up and let me be daughter. I despise this boy. I can't believe this. What about her body? Where is her body? Her father does not want her body here because she disobeyed him. He said she should be buried abroad. <laughs> My mother and the game flew her group to be back next week. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just <sorry. laughs>
but I have to let go. I have to let go of the things that remind me of you. I need to pick up my life. I heard about the accident this morning when I came back. So I decided to rush over to see you immediately. I'm really, really sorry about Amogi. She was my true love. My true love, man. I don't know how this happened. I understand. <laughs> that was a very good decision you took there. You know, sometimes it's good to put the past behind us and face reality. Okay? May her gentle soul rest in peace. And we, and we were supposed to live like a happy life. She and I live happily ever after. You know, like in the movies. You see, bad ends sometimes lead to better beginnings. Okay? See, so put the past behind you, face reality. I'm your friend. I'm always there for you, and you know that. Okay? You know what? There's this contract I got for you. Yes. Let's just go in, sit down, and talk about it. Okay? Good. So wipe your tears. Let's go. <laughs> 